hey guys welcome back to my channel now you see that title and you see girl that i am on day 13 you see me stick my tongue out <laughs> we ain't editing it out we keeping it raw and real because that's what i've been doing i have seen so many other people's journey and they made that she's not eat because we can't really cuss no more look so simple i am over here on the struggle bus do you hear me struggle bus i am struggling i'm gonna keep it raw and real this is me documenting my journey because um, I plan to do this all 2023 to get better health for myself, get off medications, as I have said in previous videos. But I am struggling on day 14 and 15. I finally got my act together. I had a one day relapse. <laughs> it's not funny. But I'm glad that the food was salty because I had been eating, you know, raw fruits and vegetables. So the food was salty and it gave me a headache. I know that looks stupid, but I'm patting myself on the back because now when I want to cheat or eat something she don't got no business eating, guess what? I ain't going to do it because now I know that chips... And anything fried, dyed, and laid to the side will have me laid to the side. Mm-hmm. Because it did. It had my damn head hurt. So, I won't be doing that no more. Plus, what I have been doing is comparing this journey with my juice journey. Now, that was a book about. So... I'm not there yet, but I know definitely I can eat raw fruits and vegetables because low-key, you do get full. You do get full and you get stuck. You just got to know the right things to eat to get to all three of them stomachs because I got three stomachs. And if I don't eat the right stuff, it just stay at that bottom one, honey. It, it don't even come up to the two and to the top one to get full, okay? Mm-mm. So, I now know to eat bananas, two of them if they little, or shit, even if they ain't little. Two bananas and some strawberries. I have fallen in love with strawberries. And I know since y'all don't know me, we, we get to know each other. Before I even went on the vegan journey, traditional food, I only eat the same stuff over and over. That would be... uh. Mexican food, like some guacamole, some shit, y'all don't kill. <laughs> y'all don't give a red ass. So, anyway, my point was is that I like to eat the same thing over and over. So, now I'm really loving some strawberries. Um, I love the way they smell. And then I really like the way um, bananas taste. They got a little sweet taste to them. I had heard that before, but I was like side-eyeing them because I, I just didn't see it. So now I really do see it. And so those have become my two favorites. I ain't going to even hold you. Them are my two favorites. So now... um. I just been eating both of them every day. Mm-hmm. Every day, all day. And I was trying to do a gallon of water, but since strawberries got so much water, I'm like running to the bathroom all day. So I'm like, how am I supposed to eat this and work and not pee on my damn self? You know? So, I really ain't got to the gallon of water yet. Like, uh, I guess the days that I work from home or I'm off, then I can do it that way. I will be incorporating um, some nuts, like some pecans, because pecans got a lot of fiber. 
and they get the system going especially for me so i need the system going because i need this weight to be gone poop be gone so um i'll be incorporating them especially when i'm bored not too many nuts because i know nuts are high in calories so but sometimes i just like for my mouth to move when i'm bored so if i give me about five or six i'm usually good um the last thing and then we are going to wrap this up but not yet don't you click off of here yet i want to say this to my people that are my age maybe even older that i was really encouraged by um chef babette i just see her or saw her now i didn't know her story and what all the hell and trauma she had been through I have watched somewhat of a documentary here on YouTube in regards to her and it really gave me more hope because Chef Bebe got started on her journey at 40. I'm 40 and so she wasn't even vegan until her current husband I think brought it to her. So that just lets me know that if she started at 40 then I'm 40 and I can do this. And so, um, I watch a lot of kind of get your mind right YouTube programs. And, um, every day I renew my mind. I'm not going to, mm -mm, I'm, I'm not strong yet. I'm on an hour by hour basis, but the stuff I think about is salty. So right now that is really helping me. And the other things that I think about that ain't no good. I, um, I'm just thinking about how it made me feel the last time. And then I also heard somebody say, how bad do you want it? Mm-hmm. Because right now, you know, it's hard being chubby and it's hard exercising. So both of them hard. But I know in three to six months to nine months that I'm going to be in a better place. And I'm going to come back to this video and look at this video of where I was. And that is why I'm here documenting my journey to inspire my damn self. And you, sis, you too, you can do this. This is, did you hear that? This is not my first time, nor my second time or any of it. So each time uh, my I not get knocked down. I dust my big self off and get back up and get stronger and learn what not to do and stay the course one day at a time. Because right now, currently, while I'm filming this, this is February of, you know, of the new year. So I'm thinking about how fast January went and how fast this month is going. So I just need to hang on. So, to wrap it up for day, what, 14 and 15, um, it should be another day, maybe 14, 15, 16. Um, uh, one day I fell off and ate some mess. I ain't had no business. I'm not even gonna hold you. I told you that. And then the day before and the day after, it made me feel really good to stay the course. And, um, that's it make sure you leave me some comments okay leave me some comments hit that thumbs up button and subscribe because you need to be on this journey with me because we're gonna be doing this all 2023 don't wait till 2024 when a girl your girl is fine as hell and then you're gonna be like sis what you did no you went in here weight loss surgery all of that i'm like nope go back and look at my youtube videos my goal is about 10 pounds a month. That's two pounds a week. Um, I know that that's doable. So that is what we aiming for. It should be more than that. My body will drop weight fast at the beginning. And then it'll figure out what we doing. And they'll be like, mm-mm. I'm fixing to hold on to these pounds. But one last thing. I am checking into a gym membership. I do have a, a personal sauna. It's not one of them fancy ones. It's one of them kind you lay down on top of your bed and you get your tail in and it do all the work. So I'll give y'all an update 
in a few days about the gym membership and i'm gonna go work out to grow with joe and get in the sauna that is enough because i done started rambling way too much i will see you tomorrow okay bye